Okay, so like what? The 19 hours I spent on braiding my hair, it was worth it. The wig that I cut up, it was worth it. I really would. But it's done for. I cut all that off the tracks. begin <laughs> oh so it is eight o'clock in the morning starting off with a little face mask and my gold eye patches i washed and conditioned my hair yesterday so it can air dry and i already pre-sectioned my hair as well so i have a wig which is by wiggins hair because why I go buy human hair when i have wigs at home so this is a v-par wig here and I'm just going to cut the curly pieces out and add it to my hair. So I'm using this edge control here just on the weave because I don't like this on my hair. I don't like the way it feels. I don't like the white cast. I don't like any of that. But on my hair, I'm going to use Gorilla Snot because I don't have no other edge control. All right, so with this V-Par wig, it is like tracks. That's a track. And then flip that over. See, that's where I actually cut the hair from. So I'm just going row by row and I basically just split it in half. I'm gonna just work my way down. And here's one track that I'm going to cut from. So then I'll just take a section and then I'm just gonna cut that off. And remember, it's hair that's already like this at the hair store, but baby, this way was free by using an old wig. Calm this out, I see the curlies do. Take my edge control, put some on the ends. So then it'll be easier when I go to get a piece off. I have it now, hot and ready. All right, let's start in the front. Okay, this is Gorilla Snot I'm adding. So I'm just gonna add in hair about this size. Let's do three pieces. So my plan is to start off as a braid and then start twisting the hair. All right. These are going to be small. Let's go. Here's my hair. I'm starting off with like an underhand braid to be easier to add in these small pieces of hair. Uh -oh. Take some of this hair out and I'm going to leave this curly piece out. Let me tug on it. Okay, she ain't going nowhere. Then I take some of my detangling spray to get the curls to kind of curl back up. Okay. And do the same thing for the ends. Okay. First of all, this movie? Have y'all seen the movie called Missing on Netflix? If you haven't watched it, go watch it. I am at about 28 minutes remaining. Girl, no they didn't. Talk about a plot twist. No way, bro, what is going on? Not the daddy. Looking good, feeling good, just like I should. All right, let me finish this front section up and I'm getting hungry. I need another snack. Okay, quick note. I'm starting to like stop twisting pretty early. See, my hair stops right here and I stop twisting right there. Like, so I have more of the curly piece because it's not going anywhere. I'm not worried about any of them slipping out. 
If so, that's on me. I did it. Okay. So gorgeous. But I would say I'm probably on like two hours right now. So again, take my Gorilla Snot. Three sections right here. And then I have three curly pieces I'm going to add in with each strand that I'm separating right now. So start off with my braid. I make sure I pull it up so it's not like just at the bottom of it. It's like actually in the center. Do that two, three times. Then I add in my curly hair. I like to hold up the loose end to add the piece of hair into that section right there. And then I braid it over. And again, hold up the loose end of my hair. Add in the piece of braiding hair with that one one more time and that's why it's like so good to add the edge control onto the curly hair again add that to that section and then braid i braid down a good amount and for this i'm going to add a piece of curly hair so here's my hair i'm going to add that into one of the sections over here i'm going to take this curly piece pull it up just keep my hair as one section and continue to braid a little bit more. Then when I get to the end of my hair, add a little bit more Gorilla Snot and then I just twist it. And then I stop. All of this curly hair just remains. Take my detangler and put that on. Of course you can use mousse or satin lotion, but I don't want it to get hard. So I'm just using my detangler spray just to get the curls popping. You can use water and conditioner mix as well. Pull this one down, put some spray on here. Get that curl popping. Then cut whatever hair is poking out. If it's your hair poking, just leave it. It's starting to get thick too. Ta-da. I'm not worried about any of them slipping out. If so, that's on me. I did it, okay? If you are showing this to your stylist, y'all might have to come up with a different plan, baby. Or if you show her this and you say, can you do my hair like this and some of them slip out? That's on you. That's not on her. <laughs> oh my God, look at this size. And if I was to like my hair myself, I would do it this size. I really would. Oh, let me show you how much hair I use. Three rows of tracks. See? To get this section here. Babe, I've been snacking my tail off over here. That's why I got going on. And then the ones in the back, I'm feeding in the three pieces and then I'm braiding it down. And then that's it. I didn't pull out any hair for the ones in the back. Cause who got time for that? Mm -hmm. Let me. It's eight twelve. Yeah, that's the day. Yeah, girl, it's coming along. Look at this, look at this. It's my last row that I had for this section. I can easily run my finger through the back. It is 11.43. Like, I'm just really anxious to finish. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, good enough. We're going to roll with that. Okay, so it's basically 3 o'clock in the morning. I just have the two sides left.
Okay, so it is the next day. I already got my rolls. Starting to fill in. I'm excited to get started. I'm starting a little late. It's ready to be 11 o'clock. I didn't get up as early as I wanted to. First of all, I didn't go to sleep till like four something this morning. So I'm just getting up. And my curls are so soft. Let's get this party started. I ate this wig up, baby. So now I'm working at the top. When I get to the top, it's like the tracks get a little thinner, so I'm just doing two rows instead of one row. So I take a section, add my edge control just to make it easier. And then I cut it. And I comb it out a little bit and flatten it. See, there's a little shedding. So I'll make a couple sets of these and then get to work. And then to prep for each braid, I'll just do three pieces. And again, I like to still keep it tapered like that to make it easier when I go to add it to my hair. So I only got a couple more rolls, almost three o'clock. And I love that I already did the rows. I wish I would have did that to each section. Made the process a lot easier. What I did that from an old V part wig. Still had a little hair left over, but it's done for. I cut all that off the tracks. This is so pretty. Like, oh. Okay, so like what, the 19 hours I spent on braiding my hair, it was worth it. The wig that I cut up, it was worth it. You leave your mama to buy. All right, so now I'm gonna follow up with my hair oil. Again, this is on my website for only $6. Go grab yours, sis, and buy your wig while you're at it. Be sweetie, sweetie. Mm-hmm. I did this. Okay, so this is gonna be a little update. And while I oil my scalp, let me tell you about my hairstyle. So this has been in a total of 15 days. A total of 15 days. I did not know I was gonna keep it in this long. But you know, life got a hold of me. But that's cool. Now you get a real live review of this hair. I actually haven't had any braids come out or anything. None of the pieces. I do this what I'm doing right now. Probably like every other day. Sad. I do not want to take them out. But it's time. I have other stuff to do. Other wigs to install. And as you can see, like the hair isn't tangled at all. Like no kinks.
Okay, y'all, so real quick update to my update before I take out my hair. So, I've already started taking out my hair. I'm just taking my time doing it section by section because I probably won't fully take it out till tomorrow, whatever. But before I do, I was thinking like, what if this hair straightened? Which it probably does because it's human hair. So we already test it out. Here's the hair and y'all I have not combed through my hair or like detangled it or anything since I installed. So this clearly shows that the hair like does not really tangle that much. Look at that. Got like a little bit of fallout, but nothing major. It's super soft, so soft. But let's see how it straightens. It is a little oily. It's straightened. So now that's out the way, just in case y'all curious, if you can wear this hair straight and put the braids, girl, you can. So I'm gonna show you guys how I remove it. It may seem obvious to some of y'all, but not to everyone because I always get in like all of my braid videos. It doesn't matter how simple it is. Someone's gonna ask how you remove it. So how I remove this section here, I just took a section and combed it out. You see how I'm able to like comb through the braid with ease. Like I said, you get a little eh, eh that may come from it, but that's it. And then I take my red tail comb and I just go through it. And I really considered like saving this hair because you know, it comes out like this or you can probably just put it all together and wash it, but it's probably not even worth it. But if you're that type of person, that want to try to save it girl save it you can get all the dirt from my roots and move it over to the side boom or if your hair is short like mine and you can clearly see where my hair stops so i'm gonna cut it take my red tail comb and take it out which this way is faster and a lot easier because you don't have to like detangle the rest of the weave comb it out that's how you remove them now i'm too about to do it Mm hmm uh-huh and if i clip anything baby i'm probably just clipping my ends okay that's, that's fine move this section braid it up put it out on my way and that's it until we meet again because i don't want to take y'all out but i got money to make go shop wiggins hair that's all i can say so